So I saw a video. Um, it's actually this particular one right here. That hasn't worked. Again in the middle of the struggle. No, stop it. Bro. Stop that. The light. No. The light kick tech. And I thought to myself, like, how possible is this? Because uh, it was pretty awesome. And I wanted to try it out for myself. And so here is how I practiced it, essentially. Um, what I did was I went into practice mode and recorded the dummy jumping up and then doing low forward. And then I recorded the dummy jumping up and holding back to block immediately. So essentially, as you can see on the player one side here, what you do essentially is you just, you do neutral standing light kick, which is the only way to make that come out right there. Um, if you hold back or forward, he's going to do the bazooka knee. So this has to be neutral. So all of your charge time has to be essentially after you press the light kick button. And you use the pause from the V-Trigger activation to get your charge out for the super. But if you input the super too late, then it's just not going to work. It's not going to combo. Um... So for the super, you actually don't have to have that much charge at all. That's how, um, you know, doing a combo that ends with a uh, guile high kick and then flash kick canceled into super works. It's because the super doesn't take that long to actually charge. Um, so this is actually pretty cool. Um, it, I think this is a lot more practical than than people think you really obviously have to practice it. You really have to, you know, be ready for it, but it's doable. And I think it's pretty awesome that Daigo still to this day is just doing stuff like this. That said it, it like, it's just, it's why he's literally the greatest of all time. And in my opinion, there really is no argument against that.